He's always like in this guy want to talk with him. So we decided to stop today, guys. One of our neighbors around by the house. Banjata. Banjata. That's his name. Hi, guys. Banjata. Rick. Cynthia. Yeah. Yeah. Banjata. We see you every day. You know, we drive. And we see you. And we say hi. And he speaks to us every day, guys. You know, you. Yeah, so you. And he's up. Right. Yes, so he's always we working. Help you. No problem. Can I give this to you or no? Amen. Yes or no? Amen. No, yes, yes. don't give to you. Yes. Give to you or yes, no? Yes. Yes, yes. Give to you or put back in my pocket. <laughs> huh? No, put in your pocket. No, here or here. Here. We see him every day. <laughs> Even at the store, he will see us and he always speak to us. Now, but Jata, please now, maybe get him a little yeah. and him a little, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. All right, thank you now. Yeah. Okay, then. All right, bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. See you later. All right, bye. Hey, make sure you get some now. <laughs> okay, bye. bye. They clean up all the weeds, and that's what they were doing. This guy's always working. Yeah, yeah. You did this too, right? Yeah. He always yeah. do the rolls, guys. He, the rolls too. he always put stuff out and to so make sure the water's out. not, you know, when we come past. Right, and so in the compound... You know, the, they got a little hole right here yeah. so the water can come out just like this. Yeah. So that's the message to you guys. If you come over here and you build a compound, if you got water inside, make sure your gate has a hole so the water can come out during rainy season. In every rainy season, we see him out here patching up this roll, and it's always just him. I never see anyone else. Yeah. He brings out the plaster, the bricks, everything. Yes. Yes, and we, we, we see you work every rainy season. Thank you. We we really very impressed with it. Bye bye, guys. I got it on, guys. They got a snail right here, guys. See? Yeah, I see that snail. Anybody want to come over and start a snail farm uh, with us? Come on and look. Like I say, the ground is so fertile. The ground is so fertile. <laughs> Just papaya. Come. A papaya here. A papaya there. The ground is so fertile. Yeah. Here's another papaya. He, oh, is, Paul, Paul. he works very hard. Yeah, he does. And He's out there all day. How old do you think that brother is? I'm going to say he about in his 60s, maybe 70s. That brother ain't in no 60s. What do you think, 80? He's probably about 80 or 90 years old. Wow. Hello, madam. Can I ask you a question? Can you ask him how old is he? I want to know how old is he. My father. Oh, that's your father? father? Wow, good man. How old is how he? How old is your father? <laughs> That's your father, you don't know how old he is. Oh, no, he never saw me. He's, he's no birth certificate. He's with him. Oh, his I didn't. Birth certificate? Yes. But he's your father, you don't know how old. No, you know why? Hey, like, I don't know how old mine was. Well. My first father, you know, when he died, he married to this man now. Oh, your father is married to this man now? Yeah. No, we, we don't want to talk about that. No, no his mom, right? mom, mom. Oh, okay. A lady is married to this man. Yeah, well, my, my mother. Okay, right. that's good then. That's better. <laughs> Thank you. So please ask your father how old. But 70. 70? Wow. Okay. And he's always out here working. Okay. Always. Thank you, then. Thank you. All Thank right. you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I knew he wasn't no 60, though. I didn't know. I said 60 or 70, Mr. Yeah. Rick. I got a little bit of brown. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I wonder what these things over here. Tell you, it's like, asylum, asylum. I don't think these are asylum, asylum. Well, it's asylum in his, uh, vehicle, okay, we're going to style him in this vehicle like Rick said. We'll talk to you guys later. Love your bag, family. See, guys, we're right here at the Chinese uh, building where they built something deep in the ground. See how they can get uh, equipment into the country from, the, uh, from China. Hello.
what I'm saying? This is why I'm asking for equipment, guys, so we can be competitive. You see what I'm saying? Look, like, this is going to be a superstorm when they're importing Chinese goods and stuff. So, hey, let's not complain about what they're doing. We need to be competitive. All right, baby. Stop complaining, pool our resources, get our equipment over here. If they throw up one, we throw up five. Better than them. There you go. That's, we, we that's how you deal with the do it, guys. That's how you deal with the Chinese, the Arab, the the European, any devil invasion. They put up one, we put up five. Exactly. So we gotta stop all that bickering with monks each other. And complain. And, co and unite because that's the only way we're gonna survive. Yep. So with these people because they're in here like ten times. Yep. Every one they put up, we put up five or ten. Yes, we can do See it. I still saying? believe we can do it. Exactly right. Now, all of us in the diaspora, if y'all are watching our channel and subscribe to what we say, and our doctrine is black man, black woman, black babies, if you subscribe to that doctrine, then you need to haul yourself over here to the African continent yes. and bring any kind of equipment, resources, knowledge, technical know-how, yada, yada, and let's get this thing started. Let's yes, get this let's party started. In the butt. There you go. Show them that we can do it. We've done it before yep. and we will do it again. We don't need to protest. No. Nope. We don't need to vote for this devil or that devil. All we need to do is a massive business development project of black man, black woman, black baby. Or that devil coon. There you go. All right, then. Because there's many of them. All right. Out for now, family. Bye. All right, family. All right, sweet mom. Go ahead and do what you got to do. I got to get my precious. Nice. Hi, right, sweet mom. Hey, guys, see what we're saying? When you come over here in the Gambia, when they make uh, facilities over here, they don't contemplate, hey, we got to have traffic and uh, make it easy for people to get in and out. See how it's hard? You see what I'm saying? That is the way out. And this is the way in. But when we come in, see right here? Hope I ain't moving too fast. But this is the way in. And as you look right now, there's no way out. So we kind of got to back the vehicle back out and park somewhere on the road because the people that made this plaza right here, the people that made this plaza didn't take into account how could we get back out and stuff, right? And so we're going into uh, projects at Black Acres of the Gambia because I don't have a parking space. And this lady right here is getting ready to tell me, get out of here, right? I need to get out, right? It's down, I don't see you. I need to get out, right? Yeah, but see, if I park it down there, how do I get out? See, if I park here, how do I get out? So I park out here, okay? I I, I can't get out. Yeah, so, so, park, so, park, okay, I'll park right here. Okay, park right here? Okay, okay, if you he, if he pull out, then I'll pull in here. Thank you, security lady. Thank you. Thank you. All right, this man right here with the taxi, he's gonna pull out, then I'll pull in and stuff, okay? Because again, sorry about that guys moving. They don't take into account over here, the plaza, see? You know, and this is not, I might be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, this is not Gambian owned, and they can care less how you get in or out. That's why it's not adequate parking and stuff, okay? So if you're coming over here and building big business projects, make sure you account for customer service so people can get in and out smoothly and stuff, okay? See right here, somebody else is coming in behind me. No parking space. All right. All right, guys, I've successfully maneuvered into a parking space. You know, I utilize, um, I call it defensive parking. This is what the military taught me. Never drive into a parking space. Back into a parking space. So if you gotta shoot your way out, it's easier to drive out versus putting it in reverse. You just drive forward and stuff, okay? So anyway, um, this is what it looks like here, the parking space. Now, uh, unfortunately, a lot of taxis come in and take up space that's for customers or either they're waiting for customers to come out of this plaza. But uh, again, this is just a parking situation. 
throughout the Gambia. Rarely do we see enough parking spaces to accommodate um, customers. You know, you, it's cars packed on top of cars, packed on top of cars, all right? Okay, enough of beating uh, that upside the head. All right, bye. All right, guys, we're here at the print shop. We just want to show you some of the merchandise that's uh, already sold from pre-orders and available. Look at this right here. This is the Black Acres of the Gambia coffee mug. Guys, right there, look at that. As you drink from this cup, guys, that is instrumental in black empowerment of black man, black woman, black child. Now look inside that, guys. Look at that. Now tell me if that right right there. Y'all kind of got to work with me a little bit. Just visualize the contents in there. You can put, you know, moringa juice, or ditta juice, or wanju juice, or baba juice. You know, everything that's nutritious and 100% organic, you can drink it out of your own personalized Black Acres of the Gambia coffee mug, okay? Yeah. All right. Don't need to say anything more about that. Let me put this back up here. Okay. Now, guys, I know y'all a lot on the African continent. You know what I'm saying? Where the sun shines all day. But uh, you do experience uh, your version of uh, summer. So what better way to deflect some of the sunlight out of your eyes than to have your very own Black Acres of the Gambia cap and stuff, all right? See the back of it and stuff, all right? In the future, we're going to see if we can uh, get a, a different color, experiment with different colors. Now, uh, Sweet Juicy Mama like this right here. Some of them have this and some don't. Uh, she like this guy. Yeah. You know. Uh, I mean, all is like this. Oh, all? Yeah, oh, no. okay. Because she says some don't have this black thing and then some do. Yeah. No problem. They all like from this. the supplier, you, 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 you can choose whether you want them. The one that doesn't have it, or okay. the one that has it. Okay, gotcha. So we chose this one. Okay, gotcha. Then we got uh, different t-shirts, guys. Again, we're going to uh, go a little bit more into detail later on. For those of you that are new, because we always got new people subscribing to the channel, uh, this is uh, a, a black t-shirt that says Black Acres of the Gambia. And I'm not quite sure what's on the back, but each one of them have a different logo on the back. For example, this right here is for all y'all that like the anger of me saying that team sweet juicy mama stuff all the time you know uh this is the shirt for that and stuff okay all right so we're right here this is our awesome uh point of contact uh can you give me your uh information again yeah um <clears throat> our business is called um, bnp bnp <coughs> like i said our facebook page um it's bnp um, our WhatsApp number is um, 725-6769. Okay. 767-5458. And that's my partner right there. Which one? Yeah, he's... Uh, oh, partner. okay. He's in the sun. I can't see him the light. <laughs> oh, this is the partner? Yeah. Man. Okay, then. All right, what's happening, brother? You want to say anything about your business right here? Because we want to give you guys a lot of business. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. My, my partner already said everything. Okay. So I don't know All right. Well, I'm I got to... happy for you. Because... Okay. Thank you. And, and tell us your location again. Where is this place called? Your location, your business location. Yeah, this is uh, Bako Okay, then. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, then. Yeah. And, and what times are you open for business? At uh, half past eight till six. Okay, yeah. what, Monday every day or what days do you? Monday till Saturday. Oh, so Sunday don't work? No. Okay, you well, thank you, then. Okay, thank you, then. Thank All right. you so much. All right, thank you. Okay. All right. Now, when did you say the rest of these will be ready? Because people, you know, say, hey, where's my t-shirt? Where's my t-shirt? So yeah. when so, will it um, be finished? So tomorrow, tomorrow to by 3 o'clock noon. Tomorrow about 3? By 3 noon. Okay, then. Everything should be ready for people. Okay, then. Yeah. Now, so we, we already have the more cups. The 100 of them, they are already done. Yeah, so the cups? Is. And the cups. Yeah. Everything is done. Okay. So the only thing left is the t-shirt. And the, um, the decal. The decal, I'm going to do it today. You know, okay, the decal. Yeah, I'm going to do it today. Do you have to measure the... Uh, Vehicle for the decal, yeah, or yeah. you already know the dimensions? I, I, I already know that. I already know that the last time you came. Okay, then. Yeah. And, and we want to order one more because I just bought a pickup truck. Yeah. Okay. So I need to order one more for my truck. Okay. So, thank you. Well, I like this color here. This is a pretty color right here. Wow. So.
So how do you know what's on the back? You just have to open it up? Yes, we, we, we can open it so you No, can... no, no, that's too much work. Too no, much work. It's fine. You sure? Yeah, okay, let's just see what that is, because that's a pretty color. Can, I just want to know what the back of it says. Yeah. All right, sweet mom, everything's okay? Yes, yes. All right, where did you run off to? They needed the thing for the number plate. Okay. Because I thought you went to Guinea Conakry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, funny, I, I was just wondering, okay. Ricky, very funny. Mm -hmm. Now, I did tell my man we're going to order some more t shirts and stuff, so I'm going to let you handle that. I just yeah, but you didn't write the name down, did you? Write what name? What down? Put Sweet mama, why we need to write it down? We can just tell us. You know what it is? Okay, wow. Yeah, we another, Love, uh, peace, so beautiful, beautiful color. Guys, let me know what y'all think of that yellow with the beautiful four lettering. That's yours right now, there. Now, there we go. Now, that should be the top seller right there. Team Sweet Daddy. That should be the number one t-shirt. Ain't no Sweet Mama. Whatever. Okay. One. Thank you. Thank you. I thank like you. I do, too. Moringa juice, ditter juice, butter juice, juice warm juice. Heck. Man, that stuff is healthy. Woo. Now, Sweet Mama, he said that black little line on there, that's on all of them. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's nice. I thought you said it was. I thought was I thought someone was white, but, okay. no, but this is nice. All right, good job, sweet mom. That, like that look real good on you, sweet mom. Yeah, it's real good. Yeah, that looks real good. You should wear that tonight. Oh, I love it. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. What's in your bag? What's in your bag? Do you have smaller? That is a beautiful like, color. Oh, maybe a three. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Can you can't have it? Because okay. little babies want it. Um, they want to order for little babies. That, those are some beautiful colors, guys. Yeah. What's in your bag pool? Yeah, what's in your bag? Come, oh, wow. Come and get your bag pool. Come and get your bag pool. That's, yeah, oh my that's God. Fine. All right. Wow. Man, he said he's to be finished tomorrow around yeah. three. They do, babe. Yeah. What's on the back of the black one? Oh, okay, yeah, that is beautiful. No, we have different information at the yeah. back. All colors have different information. That's right. Good. We need another set of this for the, your truck. The decal. That's what I told him. Oh, yeah, I told him. Yeah. 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 All right. Give me some time.